What is going on everyone? Tim from Tierfon Orbital. Today I would like to talk a little bit about an install commission that I completed on an lost acolyte. I, got, I questioned myself for a second there. Uh, for a second I thought it was just, just called the acolyte, but it is the lost acolyte from KR Saber. So I actually really, really love this hilt. I also really, really love the chassis. Uh, that I got to design for this hilt. Uh, there's plenty of room on the inside of this hilt, so I got to uh, really, really uh, get a lot of Greeley work done on this chassis. I was able to get a lot of blinkies on this chassis. It is a removable chassis system, so I'm really, really happy uh, with, with this chassis. So uh, I do want to come into Fusion and talk a little bit about the install, and then obviously we'll come up top and do a demo like we usually do, and then I will put a blade in it and try not to break anything in this office. All right, so let's come into Fusion. All right, here we are in Fusion. Thanks for tagging along. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I like to put Greeblies on stuff, and here they are. Look at all this. This is insane. Like, I I actually was thinking about this while I was doing this install. I I need to get back to this level of Greebly work. I, I, I have not been putting this much Greeblies on stuff lately. Um, so this chassis was printed in resin. I have been doing a little bit of a hybrid kind of setup lately because I've recently... Um, been doing a little bit of the FDM stuff with my bamboo, my bamboo carbon X1. Uh, but I would not be able to get this level of fidelity with the carbon X1. So I just decided to go ahead and do this whole thing in resin. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just a lot. There is just a lot of stuff going on here. But I do like that there is a lot of stuff going on, right? So there is a circle here. I do have an 11 NeoPixel accent ring from Stock Custom Works here. Uh, not pictured is a little resin uh, like cap or lens that I put over that. We'll talk, or I'll show that when we do an up and close. Along this side is a vent for a 2020 NeoPixel strip. I do kind of slide that in the bottom here with a piece of mylar above it for some diffusion. Underneath the profi board is a kill switch right here. This is a removable chassis, so I do have a six rail PCB right here. That is from Smuggler's Outpost. Up top, this is where the upper PCB is housed, right? So the male end of that six rail PCB is right here. This entire section is held in place with a set screw underneath the control box. The cool thing about this hilt is that KR Sabers includes a really handy uh, switch PCB, right? I guess you could call it a helper board or it's a, you know, just a PCB with onboard tactile switches and NeoPixels, right? Unfortunately, you can't really, there's no point in doing different color animations because the lenses in the control box are red, right? Uh, but I just set this up as a sub blade. So they're wired, the data line is wired directly. Uh, it's like wired up as a sub blade with that PCB, the blade PCB. All right, so we can get some animation on those. And that's it. I actually, I like, I just, I really like, <laughs> I am, I'm really proud of this chassis. So I'm gonna try not to toot my own horn anymore and we're gonna come up top. All right, so here it is. Hey, up there, thanks for, uh, thanks for going up top. So here it is, the Lost Acolyte, the Lost Acolyte from KR Sabres. Okay, so we'll talk about the chassis first. I did my usual pass of pewter rub and buff on this one, okay? I did paint some of the accents. Here is that little resin gravely I put in front of that stock NeoPixel ring. I did paint that red just to kind of give it some contrast on the rest of the chassis. Profi board is here, battery tray, and that's it. Nice and simple, 28 millimeter base speaker down here. This is from Smuggler's Outpost. The six rail PCB is also from, uh, from Smuggler's, excuse me. Here's the hilt, really, really rad looking hilt, okay? Uh, one of the things that really caught my eye when Cal announced this hilt last year was this uh, control box. This switch is really, really cool. Uh, this is a functional switch, right? And we also have those two lenses, so those do light up, right? 
really, really classy, classy looking hilt, okay? So to use your hilt, to use your chassis, spring side is your negative, spring side is towards the battery or <laughs> towards the speaker rather. You wanna take the flat part of your battery, rest it in your battery tray. Obviously this was already on. So there is that animated NeoPixel ring. Around the other side is that NeoPixel strip. So this has been set up with sub blades. So this top and bottom NeoPixel are their own blades in the config and the middle is its own blade. Obviously that ring is its own blade in the config. And then you have the upper emitter and these two uh, middle NeoPixels as their own blades. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six blades in total in this config, right? A lot going on in this config. So once you get your battery in, let's do a little. All right. So once you get your battery in, all right, you want to just kind of slide your chassis into the hilt. Thread your pommel on until it stops, okay? And then you're ready to go. down to the bottom. So I think that that is just a great little feature having those two lenses or those two uh, LEDs animate. having shine through in that vent too. Try to have different animation in those two red lenses for each font. Let's put a blade in it. All right, so this Imperial logo here also serves as your blade retention. I think that is a very cool design cue. There is also a regular hex screw that is included in the kit if you don't want to use that as your blade retention. Really nice blade plug is also included. So just kind of rest your blade on those PCB pins, tighten that thumb screw, and you're ready to go. Oops. So to the customer, this has been set up with color wheel, right? To access color wheel, you want to t uh, hold down aux and tap main. When you do that, you rotate the hilt to find a color you like. Once you find a color you like, you tap main again, it will lock that color in place. Aux is this downward, the, the button in the down position. Main is that upper button. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. One more. I'm Cal Kestis. Great hill. One more. Crystal focus. All right, that's it. So that was the Lost Acolyte from KR Savers. A lot of fun doing this hilt. I really, really uh, love the fact that there is so much room on the inside of this. It's a great looking hilt. That control box is so unique. Right, it's just an all around great hilt, right? So anyhow, 
to the customer, thank you very much for trusting me with your install. If anyone has any questions about this particular install or anything really, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.